Welcome art enthusiasts, to our captivating journey through the use of Venus in paintings, we'll dive into the mythological significance, idealized beauty, and cultural influences behind these mesmerizing artworks. Join us as we unravel the secrets and allure of Venus in paintings, so if you are ready, let's get started. The goddess Venus, also known as Aphrodite in Greek mythology, has been a popular subject in paintings throughout art history. Venus, as the goddess of love, beauty, and desire, has inspired countless artists to depict her in various ways. Sandro Botticelli's portrayal of Venus in this painting is striking and idealized, she embodies beauty and grace with her pale skin, flowing golden hair, and sensuous curves. The artist skillfully captures the delicate features of Venus and creates a sense of movement and rhythm through the flowing lines and drapery. This artwork is considered one of the most famous paintings in the world, and it is displayed at the Uffizi Gallery, Florence. This painting by Paolo Veronese portrays the hunter Adonis sleeping in Venus's lap, it depicts a tender and intimate moment between the two figures. In the scene, Venus is accompanied by her son Cupid, who is depicted attempting to restrain a sighthound, symbolizing the desire for hunting. This references the foretelling by Venus that Adonis would meet his tragic fate during a hunting expedition. This particular artwork showcases the relationship between Venus, Adonis, and Cupid, provides a poignant representation of love, longing, and the inevitability of fate. This painting is one of Bouguereau's most famous works, it depicts the classical mythological figure Venus, the goddess of love and beauty. Rising from the sea on a seashell, she is surrounded by nymphs, who symbolizes the sea and the winds. Bouguereau's rendition of The Birth of Venus follows the classical style with its emphasis on idealized beauty and meticulous attention to detail. The painting showcases his skill in depicting the female form and his ability to create a serene and romantic atmosphere. It is currently housed in the Musée d'Orsay in Paris, France. Primavera, which translates to spring, in English, is an allegorical painting that depicts a group of mythological figures in a garden setting. The central figure is Venus, the goddess of love, who stands in the center of the composition. She is surrounded by various other mythological figures, including the three graces, the nymph Chloris, and Mercury. Cupid, the god of love, hovers above them, shooting his arrows. This artwork is also displayed in, in the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, Italy. This artwork depicts the goddess Venus lying on a bed, looking into a mirror held by Cupid. The painting is known for its sensual and realistic portrayal of the female form. It showcases Spanish painter Velázquez's mastery of light, texture, and composition, as well as his ability to capture the intimacy and beauty of his subjects. It is displayed in the National Gallery in London. This artwork depicts a reclining nude female figure, identified as Venus, lying in a landscape setting. The painting showcases a sense of tranquility and beauty, capturing the essence of classical mythology and the sensuousness of the human form. It is the first known reclining nude in Western painting. The painting is currently displayed in the Gemalde Gallery Altmeister in Dresden, Germany. In this painting, the Venus stares straight at the viewer, unconcerned with her nudity, in her right hand she holds a posy of roses whilst she holds her other hand over her genitals, in the near background is a dog, often a symbol of fidelity, in the background two maids are shown rummaging through a cassoni chest, where clothes were kept, the painting's provocative nature and its departure from traditional religious or mythological contexts for depicting nudes caused concern among some viewers at the time, leading to debates about its appropriateness and the moral implications of such a depiction. Now it is displayed in Uffizi Gallery. This is one of Branzina's most complex and enigmatic paintings, it contains a tangle of moral messages, presented in a sexually explicit image. Venus, steals an arrow from her son Cupid's quiver as she kisses him on the lips, Cupid fondles Venus's breast, his bare buttocks provocatively thrust out as he returns her kiss and attempts to steal her crown. The masks at Venus's feet suggest that she and Cupid exploit lust to mask deception. The howling figure on the left may be jealousy, the boy scattering roses and stepping on a thorn could be pleasure. The hybrid creature with the face of a girl, could be deceit. Winged old man time battles with mask like oblivion to conceal the scene. This painting was probably sent to King Francis I of France as a gift from Medici, who employed Bronzino as a court painter. It is now displayed at the National Gallery in London. In this unique masterpiece, Lorenzo Lotto takes one of the most popular subjects of Venetian painting and gives it a witty and humorous twist. Naughty Cupid urinates on his mother through a laurel wreath. An act meant to symbolize fertility, because this is a marriage picture, it is inspired by ancient marriage poems. It is possible that Venus's features may be taken from the brides, the beautifully observed details relate to the goddess and marriage, the ivy is symbolic of fidelity. Brides wore a myrtle wreath. Incense perfumes the bower. 
a snake warns against jealousy. Shown to great success at the Paris Salon of 1863, the birth of Venus was immediately purchased by Napoleon III for his own personal collection. Cabano depicts Venus in a relaxed posture and sleepy expression. She is a part of her surroundings and the viewer is privy to behold upon the scene, produced a quite seductive painting of a mythological beauty in a way that appealed to viewers at the time of its creation. It is displayed in Musée d'Orsay. Venus embodies ideals of beauty, grace, and femininity, making her a compelling subject for artistic exploration. Throughout history, she has been depicted in various art forms, serving as a symbol of love, desire, and the human form. Beyond aesthetics, Venus's presence in art reflects cultural, social, and historical contexts, addressing topics such as gender, power dynamics, and societal norms. Through the ages, Venus has remained an enduring muse, inspiring artists to create works that celebrate and contemplate the timeless themes she embodies. Thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you like art content, see you in the next video, until then, stay curious.